In this video, I'm going to uh, walk through uh, the steps that I take um, when modding a Tournament Edition Mad Cats uh, Street Fighter 4 Arcade Stick. Um, this is my first time ever doing anything like this, so I thought I'd, you know, give a few tips that uh, that I've picked up. Um, there, I'm sure there's a lot of other places you can go to find more detailed analysis of how all this works, but uh, this video is just a, a basic rundown. Um, first, um, tools that you'll need, um, Phillips head screwdriver, uh, you'll need a metric hex key, uh, size 3, and I like to have some needle nose pliers. Um, you also want like a little, um, some kind of a copper tray just to keep all your <coughs> Keep all your screws and what and, uh, and whatnot in there, um, and yeah, and just some space as well is was, was always nice. Uh, the first thing you want to do uh, that you want to make note of is when you're modding the tournament edition arcade stick, everything comes from the top, uh, so you have to take off the top as opposed to the bottom, uh, and you do that by you know, using your hex key to remove the top screws, which I've already done here. They can, there's six of them and they come out. So At, After that, you can basically lift up on the joystick and you'll pick up the little metal tray that reveals all the inside of the stick. Um, at this point, there's a couple things to uh, note. Is that each button uh, corresponds with a, with a color. Uh, so you want to make sure that you write down what colors go to what button so that you don't get them confused. Um, to remove the connectors, uh, basically you just slide this little, it's like a little plastic covering that goes over the uh, the connector. You just slide that down and then you're able to remove the connector. Uh, make sure that you always pull from the connector though. Don't pull from the cord because you might rip it out of there. But um, and This is where I like my needle nose pliers. <coughs> uh, just grab the connector and takes a little jiggling. and it'll come off. Uh, so that's how that works. Uh, for your joystick, uh, that connector is right here. Um, when you first open this up, it'll be covered in a little bit of glue that you'll have to remove. Uh, but that works the same way. You just basically pull from the connector and squeeze it off. And that'll free that up. So before you get started with that, make sure that you write down what each color corresponds to. Uh, so you don't get them confused when you uh, change your buttons or after you're done working on it. Okay, once you've gotten all of your connectors off, um, you can then start removing uh, the buttons. Uh, now the buttons that the Tournament Edition Arcade Stick uses are Sanwa push buttons. Um, and how they come out is there's two little push points on each side of each button. Uh, basically you uh, pinch those together and then kind of turn and screw the button out so it ends up coming out like this. Um, that's how those come out. Um, important also to note that the first time you do this uh, these buttons are kind of really in there so um, they can be a little tough to get out. Um, but yeah, just the push and the turn pops them out, and that's, uh, that's how you do those. Now for your joystick, um, it's actually screwed onto the bracket with four uh, Phillips head screws, which I've removed a few of them already. Uh, each screw comes with a washer, uh, and is covered in kind of like a little, a little bit of pink gunk, uh, but that it easily just uh, uh, screws out. Um, before you remove the final screw, if you're going to be working on the, uh, the joystick, you want to make sure that you remove your ball top, because, which is this piece here, because the ball top is not going to fit through the hole. Um, and how you do that is basically you hold, uh, hold the ball top with one hand, and there's a little flathead 
uh, kind of screw thing on here. You basically just do that and then you turn the two opposite directions. Once you've done that, the uh, ball top comes right off. Um, it also has a little uh, a shaft cover and there is a dust protector that's on there as well. Just remove all of those and then you're, you're ready to take the, the stick off itself. Um, so I'm remove that final screw. Show you how this comes off of here. You can see that red dunk is kind of falling off. <coughs> parts bin and it comes off. Now there's also another dust cover that goes on top of this like that. Uh, you want to make sure you keep that if you plan on keeping this joystick. Uh, so that is the joystick right there. Now one thing that I've done since I've taken this apart before um, I don't know if you can see it very well but I basically put an arrow uh, on the side that my connector is pointing to. Why is that important? Um, because if you decide to actually work on, you know, change your uh, gate or, or work on the joystick at all, you basically have to remove your restrictor plate here. And that just pops off by pushing these little black tabs in. off like that. But anyways, once you've done that, you can then remove this piece, which is I guess your uh, chipboard or whatever. All of your little triggers are on there. Uh, and once you take that off, you really, you can put it in on any different way. But that's why you want to make that mark there so you remember which way it's supposed to go on there. So after you're done, I uh, you just follow the same steps to put it back through. Um, like on mine, what I've done basically is changed all the buttons, changed the ball top, changed the artwork, um, changed my start and select buttons. You can see those. Uh, those are actually Sengitsu buttons, <laughs> which I went with because they look cool. Um, but yeah, I'll put I can put links um, where I got all this stuff in my in the information. But basically, that's how you do it. Um,